<laughs> Bed. And all the pillars of salt surrounding, of lovers who looked back as they were leaving, their hearts heavy, their bodies fishified, wishing it would never end, which of course it did not have to if they had only not looked back. And I spend the hours mute, save for the gasps of air as I surface from between your legs, tongue blackened but not charred enough to forget the smack of nectar breastfed to me from your Dionysian sports bra. Blind, save for the shimmer of gold leaf peeling and falling like amber autumn leaves from your fevered body as you shed star skin from star skin as the body shakes. Oh, the infinite ache. Death save for the blast of the reggaeton over the PA in your backyard from a birthday party someone started years ago for a friend long since dead. The poets turn to greet me, each in silence and in succession, raising a pair of fingers in air as if lifting a feather. Exercise, sleep next to someone who I would allow to touch me and run their hands over this, my body. But when I fell, I pawned my body off to fear. On my way towards the sea, I had about four minutes to think about how I die. Would my skull splatter on impact? Feathers. Would my spine impale my brain? Feathers. Would my limbs go kablooey, but keep my mind from being lost? Feathers. And so leave me bestumped, unwinged, rolling around until I found some foxhole to spend my years seeing in shadows and sense a darkness moving over my eyelids as I sniffed for danger. And then the crash, of course. And then the most layered and <coughs> unexpected pain, full of dimension, complexity, pains unto themselves, shooting, pinching, numbness, and pains that grew into and out of one another, a twinge and blood, and the pricks of feathers as they fall, a throb and a pustule, and the blisters boiling from candle wax on my back, bruises that grew into scabs, and if I do not die here on this island, and scars that wither backwards into blood, I pray my father never lives to see me weighted down with so much regret. Bones oozing with bile, distensions of the skin flap open when gases release themselves, and I wretch and shudder and shrink and collapse into the hoop you see before you now, 
moving glacially as if my spine had been replaced with three pieces of dental floss, fraying with every step.